Oh my god! Well, this is like our last day out here. Garrett and Nick are too tired to fish today, I guess. I caught Garrett's boat out here. We've had a lot of rough wind the whole trip, so I have made a run all the way over here, all the way on the west side of the bay right now. And I'm fishing with the wind coming towards me. So a lot of the chop is blocked out and we've got a lot more clear water over here. So we might be able to sight cast some snuck. So stay tuned guys, hopefully you get us a big one. These water birds are following me everywhere, which kind of makes me think, see this guy right here? There's no reason they'd be following me unless they knew what a trolling motor was. And they're probably following the trolling motor sound because people fish here. And if people fish here, it's probably good fishing. So, that's my theory. I mean, these guys are literally under the boat. Yeah, they definitely know what the trolling motor means. It means food. Too bad guys, I'm fishing with artificials today. And anything I catch, you probably won't be able to eat, hopefully. Okay, this is looking nice. This water's looking nice and clear over here. I'm gonna start out throwing... I'm gonna start out throwing this Chase Bait's Flick Prawn around. It's a 20 pound line. I've noticed you have to throw a lot lighter leaders on this west coast over here compared to the east coast because the water's so clear and the fish are just not as aggressive either so it's different fishery but it's uh fun to be exploring new water all right so we're gonna start out fishing some shallow water um we've got a good amount of cloud coverage today so i was hoping to tie on a top water at some point but I feel like this little flick prawn would be a good search bait. Everything eats shrimp. Um, it's ultra finesse. These guys were actually the only thing getting bites when we were fishing the green lights the past few nights. And um, they're just a really good overall bait when bite's tough. Because it looks exactly like live bait. A ton of mullet in here. There. <laughs> I think I hooked a mullet or a freaking ladyfish or something, but that that was like a freaking pinfish. Oh my god, that was not a pinfish. I can't believe I keep getting these ladyfish. It's so weird. Wow, that is a snook. Landed right in his mouth. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Oh my gosh. I thought I was stuck on something for sure. I don't know if a GoPro saw that, but that was one of the coolest bites I've ever gotten. <laughs> that was definitely insane. Wow. It's like a, it's like a low, low 20s. Slightly shorter slot, but dang, look at that. That's awesome. Wow, it's rare when I see Snook hit it on the drop like that. I mean, that's just insane. I mean, it didn't hardly hit the water yet. Because that was such a sick hit, guys. I'm glad you guys got to see that one. This is on this little swim bait on a jig head. Such a powerful fish. I will say though, for some reason, 
snook on the east coast fight harder they just do they they don't fight like as weak as these fish these fish are not as strong it's strange to me the lady fish came up and smacked it it's right where i threw it and i just thought i was snagging there was a snook just pulled him out of there he probably didn't even know he was hooked Something hit it. I think a majority of these fish are probably ladyfish. Oh my god. There's like two million jacks right here. Gosh. The bird is freaking out in there. That's another jack. Definitely not what I'm after. The real challenge here is getting through all the other species. Ladyfish are insane. I'm gonna flick for on you. I can't believe I wasn't recording for that. You like the flick for Fingers all be tied up from the freaking last one. Ah, ah. Well, there's the bait. He just threw it out of his mouth. That's a nice one. That's definitely the bigger one of the day so far. So I'm having a problem getting baits back there. In the mangroves. So I switched to flick prawn, which is weedless, and pretty much the first cast back there pulled one out. So that's awesome. There's another one. That's a bigger one too. Nice, nice. That's what I wanted to see today. Sweet. That's snook number four, I believe. Get in here. That's the biggest one of the day. I would say that's like a 26 incher. Whew, and they're digging the flick prawn a lot more. Wow, should have been throwing that. That little jelly flick prawn is my favorite bait ever of all time in saltwater, guys. It's a 20 pound leader, or 25 pound leader. My hands kind of cut up, so I still have this big old rag on my hands, but skipping it under these mangroves, twitching it out with the weedless flick prawn there, Chase Bait's flick prawn. Um, definitely check them out guys, I'll have a link in the description of the video. Right in the corner of his mouth. Like... There. I would say she's probably 26. Wow, wow. I've never seen him do that on the release. Wow. So, so cool guys. And can't wait to get some more of those. Look at these ladyfish just playing with it. <sighs> That's why you retie. I had the slightest little fray in my leader. That's all talk. I saw him come out for it. Wow. I'm trying, trying to keep us away from that spot because there's just so many freaking fish in that one spot. It's just incredible how many fish are in that one spot. And they're pretty thick fish too.
boom right in the corner that is textbook material guys i mean i don't care that they're not big that's always fun another solid one i wanted to show you what i was talking about with that line frame i don't know if you can see it in the camera but that line is super super shredded and this is a 25 pound line and probably only a four pound fish five pound fish i mean that's that's how shredded they can do it and he didn't even have me in structure that's just from the fish um my favorite bait here my favorite bait right here flick prong can't beat that wow every time i get to that spot there's fish every time i cast near that spot there's a snook it's insane there's just a big school of them back there or something I have a light in my mouth. Hey, you can see what's going on. There he is. There he is. Oh my god. Come on. 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 God damn it. Oh my god! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, lost the whole ride. Oh my god! It's huge! This is my biggest tarpon ever, guys. I can't believe this. I'm 20. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, I thought you long enough, man. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, holy 
Oh my god! There's PB tarpon in the boat. Holy crap! Oh, I got some of the fight on video. Oh my god! Look at that! Look at that! Holy crap! The boys, the boys are missing out. Better grip on her. There's the freaking fish, guys. Look at that. Oh my god! I don't know how much you guys can see. There's the freaking fish. There's the freaking fish. This fish is at least 30 pounds. I mean, this thing's massive. I can barely hold it up. 30 pound fish and 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I can't believe it. Oh my God. <laughs> this swim bait out of her mouth there. Come on. Oh my gosh. There she is. Look at that. What a beautiful, absolutely magnificent fish to catch at the end of the trip. There she goes. There she goes. I was really starting to get worried there. But that's a successful catch. Almost lost a rod. Almost didn't catch the fish. Twice. And then... Finally, finally got her in, somehow. Wow, I think that's gonna call it right there. Anyways guys, I'm just super happy that fish survived. I was getting worried there for a minute. I would sit here all night long and make sure she was revived if she needed to. But literally, um, this has been 10, 11 minutes now on the GoPro how long that release took so i mean i've had longer ones before make sure you guys release your fish like just hold them upright sometimes after a good fight like that they can't even swim so hold them upright and just let them do their thing and they'll let go and take off when they need to so anyways that was insane got a new pb did not expect that only got about 60 seconds left of recording on my last sd card and I might just call it a night. I, I really want to go out and fish a little bit more. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to stay connected, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, post notifications, and anytime I post something, you will get an update. I hope you guys are safe during this whole corona outbreak thing that's going on right now. Um, I know a lot of people can't find boat ramps. We somehow managed to for this trip, but everyone, good luck out there. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, corona free. There's the freaking fish, guys.